So the first one I want to talk about is this new branching feature. It allows you to branch conversations within a thread and you can fork any part of that thread into a new chat thread. This allows you to explore like different approaches. Okay, I got this particular um, thread going. I want to now branch out and start this into a new thread. I'm going to keep going in this thread. And now I've got two competing threads that I can interact with in different ways. Maybe as a lawyer, I might say, help me argue on behalf of my client. In the other thread, you're helping me argue against my client so you can understand the adversary's point of view. There are literally dozens of different ways why being able to branch a thread into a new thread while preserving the memory of that thread is going to be super helpful. You know, think about it this way. You are interacting with intelligence. You're not having it just draft for you. You're trying to learn. You're trying to explore. You're trying to uh, brainstorm. These lines of reasoning that you tend to go down as you're engaging with a particular chat thread end up getting baked into the thread. And if you start out in one direction where you're you're guiding the AI saying, here's what I'm thinking. And, you know, what I really want to explore is this. And by the way, you know, my overall approach is going to be, you know, down, down this path. Um, I want you to really consider these particular things. Here's what I think about the issue or the problem. You should be talking to your AI, by, by the way. You should be talking to your AI that way. You should be exploring with it. But once you start down in a thread, down a particular line where you've given it your thoughts, your biases, your input, once you go down the thread, you can't unlearn that if you're the AI tool. You can tell the AI thread, and this is the way we used to, we tell the thread, hey, look at now I want you to go in the other direction. I want you to think of the counter argument. Okay, but remember that you're dealing with a token chain. And the first input into the thread is going into the token chain. The knowledge you upload is going into the token chain. This custom instructions is going into the token chain. Then every input and output is going into that token chain. And all of that is going to be considered as you maneuver through the threads. Subscribe, share, comment, and like.